Hello, this video is brought to you by the Aquarian edition of the Emerald Tablets of Thoth the Atlantean. Stick around to the end of the video to learn more. If our soul really is this multidimensional entity that has a presence in every dimension or plane of existence, what would fourth, fifth, or sixth dimensional chakras even look like? What correspondences and roles would they have in our subtle bodies? Or even more simply, do we even have super higher dimensional chakras at all? Different systems refer to these higher scale chakras as different things, but one of the most simple versions is that they're called the outer chakras. Of course, people like Sadhguru have argued that we have 144 chakras composed of major and minor ones throughout the body. However, we should remember that while we can speak in terms of lower and higher chakras, such language is often too easily misunderstood. It is like comparing the foundation of a building to a roof. The roof is not superior to the foundation, the foundation of the building is more basic to the building than the roof, and the quality, lifespan, security, and stability of the building depends, to a large extent, on the foundation rather than the roof. But in terms of language, the roof is higher and the foundation is lower. If we think of chakras one through seven as third dimensional physical chakras, then conceptually speaking, we can think of chakras eight through 15 as the fourth dimensional ones, and 16 through 22 as the fifth dimensional ones. Our soul probably has even more than that. But according to Thoth, once things get past the sixth dimension, they get so entirely different that no one can conceptualize what's going on exactly and translate it back to 3D. So we can stick to this framework for now. Chakras eight through 15 pertain to how we can impact our existence in the fourth dimension. That is space and time and chakras 16 through 22 are thought to affect how we interact with events and circumstances that may be aspects of source consciousness and perhaps even other realities. In other words, they are the chakras of our higher selves. While there are countless systems, since no one has an agreed upon convention, it is more important than ever to have your own experience with these chakras and form your own views. Thus, everything we're about to explore here can be seen as one interpretation of our most general understanding. And so with that, let's get into it. As we touched on previously, thinking of each chakra as a set of octaves arguably means that chakra eight, located above the crown, is the root chakra of the next dimension and our astral body. It is often referred to by many different names, such as the higher heart or seat of the soul. But in shamanic practice, it is called the soul star, which we think is just a fabulous name. Since the fourth dimension is largely temporal, as we begin to work with this chakra, we come to an understanding of the timeless nature of our own soul. In its fullest expression, it encompasses all of our creative imagination, how receptive we are to new experiences and wisdom and our perception of what life is like, as well as being associated with transcendence into the next world and divine wisdom. Color-wise, the soul star chakra is thought to be a kind of turquoise, although it's fair to say that the true colors of these may be outside of the color spectrum that we can easily comprehend at this point. Above that is the ninth atomic doorway chakra, encompassing a vibrant green similar in color to the heart. This chakra deals with all the skills encapsulated in the crown chakra and overlays that person with all of the acquired skills that they've left behind by their residual karmic experiences. Chakra 10 is known as the solar star, not to be confused with the earlier soul star. This is a cosmic chakra that deals with our karmic baggage and depending on the paradigm is either located above the ninth chakra or below the feet as the position resets for our new body. The color associated with it is a kind of pearl or white. Chakras 11 and 12 are said to be found within the hands. 11 is our galactic chakra that connects us to all other forms of life in the cosmos. It corresponds to the solar plexus in the third dimension and has an orange pink color and deals with memory and past life experiences. Chakra 12 is the earth chakra that deals with detachment to the third dimension and our ability to act as independent observers of our reality and shines a brilliant gold. Chakra 13 is known as the mother or Gaia chakra and connects us to the Christ consciousness grid of the planet. It shines a pink violet and has a very natural feel to it. Supposedly, it is located outside of the body about an arm's length in front of it. It deals with the unconditional love and joy that our mother can give us if we are open to receiving it. Chakra 14 is the divine sun chakra and vibrates a dark blue. When chakra 14 activates, we can see the connections and understand their synchronicity and truly become aware of the divine plan. 
similar to the third eye chakra, but on a much grander scale. Chakra 15 is the final chakra of the fourth dimension and corresponds to the crown and is the counterpart to our earth mother chakra embodying our divine father. It is at this point that we start to lose connection to our physical sense of being all together. We become something outside of ourselves, something part of a much larger reality. As such, it shines a warm yet powerful white gold color. Moving into the fifth dimension, these are the chakras belonging to our light body, our higher self that emits pure light. Diana Cooper explored these higher chakras in a book called A New Light on Ascension. The 16th chakra root is the base of this system and is related to divine wisdom and flow, shining a bright platinum color. It is a chakra of ascension into the higher realms. Chakra 17 shines a kind of magenta and embodies the truest form of the divine feminine and deals with our complete sense of oneness with the entire universe. In a way, it unites the learning of the chakras in the fourth dimension and brings about an ability to sense everything that ever was and that which is yet to come. Chakra 18 mirrors chakras 11 and 12 from earlier and deals with our interaction with our galactic self. It is what allows us to channel information from the ascended masters back to our reality, crossing all kinds of boundaries. In true enlightened fashion, it shines a brilliant gold color. Chakra 15 is the fifth dimensional heart center and aligns us with the cosmic heart. In this chakra, we become connected to the universal Christ consciousness, far beyond just earth. It is pure white and encompasses a connection and love for all aspects of the entire universe. The 20th chakra is the fifth dimensional throat and therefore shines a royal blue. It is a chakra of co-creation and embodies the phrase, I am. This is the chakra that grants us the true knowledge of communication with the divine, coming to an understanding that we ourselves are an aspect of the source and can create that which we speak. Chakra 21 is the fifth dimensional third eye and has a kind of crystal translucent color. Rather than simply perceiving other realities, as you did in the third and fourth dimensions, you become part of the vision and experience yourself becoming a part of every conceivable reality. Finally, the 22nd chakra is the fifth dimensional crown and again has a kind of platinum or crystalline color. This chakra is the point at which we merge with our higher self and become a true transcendent being, an ascended master of our own. There are likely many more chakras as we move through the different dimensions of consciousness, each bringing with them a new and fuller understanding of our true existence and nature. But it is unlikely that we'll be able to access these higher chakras just yet, at least not until we move collectively through the various half steps and mirror walls that we've talked about in this series. So we'll leave it here for now. And please always remember your higher self already knows this information. You've simply forgotten with each incarnation. So while it may seem confusing and hard to keep track of right now, I have no doubt that there will come a time when this information makes sense to you. And everyone here at Spirit Science is on a mission to make that happen. Toodles. Step into a world of ancient Atlantean wisdom. The Emerald Tablets are said to be writings from none other than Thoth himself, transcribed in an age long since past. In them, he describes his descent into the underworld to uncover the secrets of immortality, his transformation into a deity, the fall of Atlantis, and the secrets of unlocking the power of the human soul. In the summer of 2019, I traveled to Costa Rica to participate in an ayahuasca ceremony at Rhythmia Life Advancement Center. Each night of ceremony, Thoth was present with me. He revealed many mysterious things in life, including the gift of a new Merkaba and set me on a path to create spirit mystery. In that week, I also found myself translating and decoding the Emerald Tablets for a loved one who had joined me in ceremony. The experience coupled with inspiration from working with Thoth in ceremony led to the creation of this new edition of the Emerald Tablets of Thoth the Atlantean. This book was originally translated nearly 100 years ago by Dr. Doriel, who was the first to bring these writings forward, claiming to have translated them himself after witnessing the physical tablets firsthand, but that since then, they have been kept guarded by a secret brotherhood in Egypt hidden from the world. In this new Aquarian Age edition of the Emerald Tablets, all of the wisdom and words are intact, but has been lightly shifted into a modern version of English, making it easier to read and absorb for the modern mind. Along with this new translation, this book also contains the original writings in the second half of the book, so that you can enjoy them both freely, enjoy them both freely, unique and perfect on their own. May the Aquarian edition of the Emerald Tablets of Thoth bring you wisdom, love, and truth.